Oh, this is easy, and I'm going to show you how to add thickness to a model. All right, one of the methods was to go ahead and punch a hole when you had uh, the two polygons that were same on each side and just push it through, then you'd have thickness. But for some reason, let's say I have these models like this all right, and I'm like, how do I add thickness? Okay, I'm going to show you. It's really simple. And actually, it can be frustrating if you don't know the little tip here. So, how am I going to add thickness using the Z model brush? Well, I'm going to right click over this. Let's turn on the polyframes. You can see that it's all one group. And I right click over here. And I got the Q mesh. I got it set to all polygons. And you can see it's all one group here. Now, if I was to drag out like this, you can see the thickness gets really out of whack. Okay? If you drag inwards, you can see it screw up. Then as soon as you keep on dragging down, don't let go, it'll eventually snap into place. You can come out here and drag down. Control Z that. Or go in here and drag up. And you can kind of see and it'll snap. Turn on dynamic geometry. And we'll select this one here. Well, let's go back to this one. I want to show you something here. Uh, as you can see here, we got the edges going straight across in the middle and one in the middle going the opposite way. Okay, uh, it matches on the outside to one all the way around, but I don't have one in the middle going up and all the way around right through here. So keep in, keep that in mind when you're doing this. I'll click this one. Let's go ahead and go solo so we can see this one here. And you can see it's real thin. All I got to do is just drag. So it pops and snaps. And there we go. Turn around polyframe. And we got the uh, thickness to it.